There is no aspect of Beethoven in which you can say Beethoven is great as a melodist, a harmonist, a contrapuntist, a tone painter, his orchestration. You can find fault with all of them. If you take any one of these elements separately, you find uh, nobody. There's nothing there. He spent his whole life trying to write a good fugue, and he himself admitted he never succeeded. And as far as his orchestration is concerned, you could have it. I mean, it's bad. It has trumpets sticking out all the time. It's sort of drowning out everybody else. You can't really you hear. You have to balance. Balance. The melodies go like that, and you can't really say it's a great melodist. And the harmonies, any child could write. And as for harmonies, how many times do you have to listen to them? And, 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 and pages of one chord over it. It's not very interesting harmonically, right? Well, what makes it interesting? Well, it's the form. Well, form is a mold that can be made to be very an uninteresting factor. But in Beethoven's case, the form is all because it is a, a case of what note succeeds every other note. And in Beethoven's case, it is always the right next note, as though he had some private telephone wire to heaven, which told him what the next note had to be. No composer ever had that, even Mozart, to that degree where everything is so unpredictable and yet so right. It's, it all checks. It all works out. You can rely on it. You know the next note has to be the next note and the only next note that could come. And that makes his form perfect. How he had this, nobody knows, because he struggled. He scratched out. He, he never left his rooms. He went crazy. And he kept saying, well, I'm writing only the tip of the iceberg but of what I really feel, what I could really write. His room was a mess. His food was uneaten. For three days, it was stale. The chamber pot was unemptied under his piano. It, he moved all the time. He couldn't find a place that was right. He kept trying. If you look at those sketches, you see the crossings out. You see the agonies that this man went through. And what has finally appeared as the finished product looks as though it was simply phoned in from God. That's what's so incredible. But he wrecked himself in his whole life trying to do this, trying to achieve this very inevitability. That's the word for it. It's every note that comes is inevitable. Could have been no other note.